we had the same thing that we had in the garage, where we have an, a tube that they built up from the slab coming up the wall. In this case, this room was covered with wall covering, either sheetrock or paneling, with furring strips on the wall. So what happened was they made it up far enough where they actually contacted a food source and now they're hooked into it and they're not going to give up until they're, they're done. Well, the termite swarmers are about an eighth of an inch. The body's about an eighth of an inch and cigar shaped. And the wings of the termite are twice the length of that body. And the one key thing with that, the termite swarmer is that the wings, once they emerge, will fall off the, the termite. Termite inside a home will crawl into cracks and crevices and basically die. The wings left behind are a telltale sign that a swarm occurred. So if someone was on vacation or out for a, the day, this could occur, but the wings would be left behind. And uh, just by brushing your hand over the floor area or over a windowsill, they're so light that they get picked up and you can see them. Almost looks like dust. So it can be missed by homeowners, but hopefully if they're sharp enough, they'll collect them and give us a call. Okay, so the first thing we do when we arrive at a termite job, besides greeting the homeowner, is taking the sketch and, or diagram that the salesman has drawn up initially and taking that and reviewing it against the structure itself as we're there. So once we do that, we go in all the areas that are going to be treated and make sure they all match up. And once they do, then we can begin the treatment. If we were going to do the soil, he would uh, trench the soil and then trench being uh, several inches wide, about six inches deep, he would then take his soil needle and treat the soil every 12 or so inches and work the needle down as far as you can get it. Once that's done, he then covers the trench and installs termi teller stakes. That would, uh, the termi teller stakes are there so when we do our reinspection, what we would do is to pull them out to see if we have any termite activity. Then when it comes to any slab or slab areas, which would be concrete, we would then take it as a rotary hammer, drill through those every 12 inches. Uh, once the holes are all drilled in the applicable spots, he would then sweep up the debris. And when that's all prepared, he would then uh, go to the truck and get the treatment hose and the appropriate tool. He would then treat those slab areas through the hole. Once the hole is treated, he then cork and cement that uh, treatment point.